dang that fast. Chinese researchers have developed the world's first testing platform for a new maglev train that can run at ultra-high speeds. China's super maglev train combines maglev technology and vacuum tube transport to run at speeds of 1,000 kilometers per hour, faster than narrow-body Boeing or Airbus jets. To test their prototype, scientists at Southwest Jiao Tong University in Chengdu constructed a test car in a 45-meter loop with a load capacity of up to one ton. The superconducting maglev system inside the loop allows the test car to be levitated 20 millimeters above the track. The team is currently conducting trials and aims to complete 400 km per hour runs within the year. They will still need to conduct 1,000 km per hour trial runs, tackle safety standards, and deal with high construction and maintenance costs before any super maglev trains can enter commercial service. Stay tuned to see more really fast things. All aboard! India's old school railroad system is about to get one hell of a boost as the country begins its high speed rail project with a little help from the Japanese. India has begun construction on its first Japanese bullet train line, which will stretch 508 kilometers from the city of Amenabad to the financial center of Mumbai on the country's western coast. The line is expected to be finished by 2023 and will cut travel time between the two cities down to three hours from the current eight. The new train will be able to carry 750 passengers at an average speed of 250 kilometers per hour with a top speed of 320 kilometers per hour. India plans to invest $19 billion in the new line. Japan will fund over 14 billion of the project with a 0.1% interest loan to be repaid over the next 50 years. Analysts say constructing the bullet train will give a boost to infrastructure development in India's rapidly developing western industrial region and help with economic growth. Hello, Hyperloop. A full-scale Hyperloop pod model was unveiled on Thursday, giving a glimpse into the future of Dubai transport. Virgin Hyperloop 1 and Dubai's Road Transport Authority developed a prototype commuter pod for the Hyperloop system, which can travel up to 1,200 kilometers per hour. Pods are divided into two classes, gold, which can seat five passengers, and silver, which seats 14. Travel time from Dubai to Abu Dhabi is currently an hour and a half by car, but will take only 12 minutes via Hyperloop. Initial tests estimate the pod can transport 10,000 people to and from Dubai every hour. To avoid motion sickness from the high speeds, the pods have no windows, but do offer entertainment and information systems in the armrests. Though the project is still under testing, the high-speed transportation system could launch as early as 2020. Mex Loop Hyperloop design could connect 42 million people. Need to get to Mexico City from Guadalajara in a hurry? Mex Loop Hyperloop may be able to help out. Mexican consortium MexLoop is proposing a 330-mile Hyperloop system that would connect four cities in central Mexico, Mexico City, Coelatalo, León, and Guadalajara. The trip would take about 38 minutes compared to the current six hours it now takes to drive between the two cities. Stations would be located close to airports, rail freight hubs, and train stations in order to maximize transportation infrastructure efficiency. According to MexLoop, a Hyperloop system would only be two-thirds of the cost of a high-speed rail system. MexLoop's proposed system would provide a more efficient transportation system for 42 million people. The consortium also says building the Hyperloop would help boost the economy as well as ease traffic congestion. Supersonic passenger flights will soon be a reality. A new airliner that boasts supersonic speeds is set to revolutionize air travel once it takes flight in 2023. Boom Technologies' planned supersonic aircraft will have a cruise speed of 1,451 miles per hour, 2.6 times faster than any other airliner. While a flight from New York to London would typically take seven hours on a commercial flight, the trip would take a little over three hours on a supersonic airliner. The Mach 2.2 aircraft will have 55 seats, each priced at about 5,000 US dollars for a round-trip ticket. A one-third scale prototype called the XB-1 will begin test flights in 2018 to demonstrate and refine the key technologies required for supersonic travel. Unlike the now-retired Concorde and its notoriously loud sonic boom, the boom aircraft will have turbofans for noise reduction and won't be much louder than a normal plane. 
The company does have some hurdles to face before their project comes to fruition. Supersonic flights are still banned in the U.S., but with federal laws currently set up for renegotiation, that could soon change. Life in the fast lane. Traffic in Colorado's capital city could get seriously faster in the next half decade. Headed by tech firm Arrivo, the Denver High Speed Traffic Tube project will first build a test track following the city's E-470 toll road. The system will see a variety of vehicles, both passenger and cargo using it. The technology uses a combination of magnetic levitation and electrics to propel cars at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. If successful, Arrival could potentially expand to connect with Denver's current transportation infrastructure. The company was founded by Hyperloop One co-founder and former SpaceX engineer, Brogan Ben Brogan, 